Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, my hair is again soaking wet today. But I've noticed since I started my CVID infusions with Hycuvia, my curls are not what they used to be. So I'm trying the Curly Girl method and I'm trying some collagen. And I'll let you know if that works or not. Today I wanted to talk about another one of the chronic illnesses that I suffer from. Um, I do have several chronic illnesses, autoimmune diseases, it's a mess. But this one is by far the worst of all of them, medically speaking, and the way it affects my life. It has been the most horrendous thing that I've ever gone through in my life. It is bilateral vestibular dysfunction. Sometimes it's called vestibular neuritis. Um, the inner ear, the, your vestibular system, is what tells your brain spatially where you are. It controls your sense of balance. It can cause, when it gets out of whack, you have horrendous dizziness. Um, you feel like you're spinning, not the room is spinning, but you're spinning. The best way I can describe it to someone is it feels like you're on a merry-go-round and you can't get anyone to turn it off. I've been dealing with this for three years. Um, it started with the most horrible flu I've ever had in my life that just left me with a double ear infection. I didn't have insurance at the time, so I waited until it was too late to go to the doctor and the damage was done by then. I went to doctor after doctor after doctor to try to get an answer to what was wrong with me. I mean, the first thing comes to mind is you have a brain tumor because this is so horrendous. This spinning and dizziness and nausea is so horrendous. There must be something really horribly wrong with you. I had to see several doctors. I had MRIs. I had CAT scans. I had horrible tests done that I would never have done again. And I honestly would not wish this illness on my worst enemy. I just wouldn't. And if it weren't for my faith in God, I could never have gotten through this. And I know that, and I'm not knocking medicine, but I know that it's God that's got me this far because I have many better days than I do bad days now. The damage that this causes doesn't just affect your balance. It also can affect your speech. For me, I have a hard time sometimes, like today, getting the right words out. Um, I have a hard time finding my words. I still I have one eye that blinks more than the other. Um, and I still deal with it, but I just have more good days than I do bad. Barometric pressure affects it. If there's a storm front coming through and the pressure changes greatly one way or the other, then I'm going to have a bad day. Um, if I get dehydrated or if I'm sick, it gets bad. It also has increased the number of migraines that I have. And now along with the pain from the migraine, I also have the dizziness and the nausea. But there is hope that it can improve. I had vestibular rehabilitation therapy, some at the hospital, some exercises that I do at home. What they want to do is retrain your brain and retrain the way it interprets the information that it gets from your vestibular system because it's all kind of jumbled up in there now and it's not, it's not giving the correct information to your balance system in your brain. So once you can get that, uh, that rehabilitation therapy going, that will help you some. Um, cut out salt as much as you can. Make sure you're drinking enough. Try not to take aspirin or pain medicines more than you have to. Um, there are, for some reason, medicines that lower blood pressure team to help me. Um, there are people who take anti-anxiety medicines that it helps. And it's not because they have an anxiety problem. It's because this affects your nervous system. This is the nervous system in your inner ears that communicates with your brain. And sometimes that can help. There are people who have committed suicide because they cannot deal with this illness. It is horrible, but there's hope. And that's what I want people to get from my experience with it, is that there is hope for you to get better. It will never go away, but you will have more good days than bad if you just don't give up. There were days when I thought that my life was forever going to be going from my couch to the restroom with a walker inside my own house because if I tried to walk I would fall. There were days that I prayed that I didn't I did not understand why this was happening to me. But it will it can get better and it will get better. You'll start to have more good days than you do bad days. And I think for me my 
Hycuvia infusions have helped that being diagnosed also with the CVID because it helps me not to get sick as often as I used to. And anytime I get sick, it makes the dizziness a little bit worse. Um, if you have, if you are suffering from dizziness, and there are several causes for dizziness, it's not all vestibular related, but keep going until you find a doctor that listens. If you don't get better with the first time and they're not listening to you, keep going until you find another doctor. The doctor that finally got my diagnosis and finally got me on the road to recovery, the first time I saw her, she spent 45 minutes talking to me, just talking, asking me questions, listening and looking at me when I answered those questions. She had me walk up and down the hallway and I had to hold my hands out on the wall to keep from falling because I always felt like I was going to tip over. She watched my eyes and they kind of, when I'm having a bad episode, will do this. And one of my eyes blinks more often than the other one does. She listened when I talk because it can, like I said, it can affect your speech. You can't seem to get your words out sometimes. She got me on the road to recovery. So the takeaway from that is don't just stop with one opinion. If you're not getting better, if you have to see 15 doctors, keep going until you find a doctor who will listen, who will run the test, who will do what it takes to find out what's wrong with you. I've been blessed with a wonderful doctor and I hope she never <laughs> quits practicing while I'm still alive because she's fantastic. Um, don't give up, that's the main thing. Eventually your brain will learn to compensate and you will have more good days than bad. I'm not going to lie and say that you're never gonna have bad dizzy days because you will, I still do. And when that happens, I have to resign myself to the fact that today I'm not going to get anything done. I'm going to lay on this couch. I'm going to struggle to go from the couch to the bathroom. And that's going to be my world for today. But it will get better. So don't give up. Um, try the dietary sections, uh, dietary suggestions that you can find online. I've just only thought of a few. There are resources out there. And I'm going to leave links in the description below to support groups. Um, one is called VEDA, that's what they do, is vestibular disorders. Um, I'm going to leave links to the test that I had done in the description below, so just don't give up hope. Um, I'll be back later with another video to talk about another illness that I suffer from, but I really struggled with doing this video because it is an emotional subject, and even talking about it brings up some really terrible memories of how I suffered with this in the beginning but I felt like I needed to do it so that people who are suffering with this know that you can get better you will not ever be completely normal again but life will get better um, pray about it keep going to doctors if you don't have faith in God what better time than now to start talking to him it's very simple he'll listen if you just talk to him he will listen We've had conversations that haven't always been nice because I haven't understood why all these things have happened to me. But he wants you to talk to him. He wants you to tell him your needs and your desires. And he wants you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And I'm sorry if I got a little bit preachy and some people don't like that. But that that's what gets me through. It's my faith. So I'll have another video later. Have a nice night. Bye.